All right, so continuing on through chapter four. Uh, last time we were converting back and forth between mixed numbers and proper fractions. Now we're gonna be comparing those and using what we did last time uh, to do that. So first off, right, four, 49 over 13 as a mixed number. So you would take 49 divided by 13, which there would be three 13s, which is 39. So 49 minus 39 is 10. 10 is left over for a remainder then. And so 3 and 10 thirteenths would be your final answer. So top number divided by the bottom. Uh, the amount of times it goes in is the whole number. The remainder then goes above that denominator and that's your fractional part of it. So um, we're gonna be comparing these. So like here, six and seven eighths, six and a half, which one's bigger? Well, a half is halfway through where seven eighths were almost all the way through. So seven eighths is going to be the bigger one there. Um, now remember, we could get common denominators here, and this would be four eighths because we would take two times four to get eight. So one times four would be four. So seven eighths, four eighths, seven eighths is bigger. Now, which sign is going to make this statement true? Well, right now we have 159 over 6 and 25 and 5 16. So one's an improper fraction, one of them is a mixed number. You're going to want to get them in the similar, uh, similar form so that you can really compare them because right now it's really hard to tell what's what. So we can either make this a mixed number or we can make this one an improper fraction. I'm going to go improper fraction. Um, just because I think it'll be a little easier to go that route. So six times two would be 12, six times five is 30, so six times 25 is 150, plus five. This here is gonna be 155 over six. So 159 is more, so we would use our greater than sign. So bottom number the, of the fraction, the denominator times the whole number, Add it to your numerator. So 6 times 25 is 150, plus 5, 155. That's how I did. Uh, we could have gone the other way with this and divided this by 6, so we would have got 2. Uh, and 39, 6 would have gone into it 6 times. And we would have had 3, 6 is the other way we could have gone about it. Either way, um, going to be a difference there. So. You're also going to get some like this where it is um, we're going to have multiple that you're going to have to determine well which ones are going to be greater than 25 and 1 fourth. So easy way to go about this if we're going to be greater than 25 and a fourth we know we have to be bigger than 25 so anything less than that whole number we know isn't going to work so 24 and 7 ninths isn't going to be bigger neither will 24 and 7 twelfths. Now, 25 and 3 elevenths could. 151 over 6 could. So if we divide this in, 6 goes into 15. It'd be 2. And then to get 30 would be 5 times. And then we'd have 1 6 left. So 1 6 and 1 fourth. Well, 1 fourth, we have a bigger denominator. So those are bigger pieces compared to 1 6. So this one isn't going to work as well. Now, elevenths and fourths, 44 is what would be the common denominator there. So 4 times 3 would give us 12 here. 4 we take times 11 to get 44. So 11 times 1 would be 11. So 3 elevenths by 1 44th is bigger than 25 and a fourth. Now, last problem here, which number is bigger than 637 and 2 19ths? So again, if we're not bigger than 637, we're for sure not gonna be bigger than our fraction. So the 636, or 363 is out, and so would this one here be. Now, I'm gonna put these in my calculator because these are bigger numbers, and I'm gonna try to speed this up. So 89 to eight divided by 14 would be 637. So good start there. Um, so if I subtract my 637 and then take it times 14, 
I'd be left with 637 and 10 fourteenths. So, got a good shot. If you think about it, 10 over 14 is more than halfway. 2 over 19 definitely is not. So this one should work. Um, the other way to go about this one, so 9553 five, divided by 15 is 636.866. So that alone right there tells you it's not going to be bigger than 637. So that one's not going to work. So this is the one that works. So all I did there was like on that first one there we got 637 so we got a whole number that's the same so it's got a chance looking at the decimal I then subtracted the 637 took it back times 14 to got how many was left so 10 over 14 and then this other one when we did it I could stop after that because we got 636 which is automatically less than 637 so there's no way it could work so let me know if you have any questions um, keep in mind you can always pause if you need time to write stuff down or you can rewind and watch it again um, if you have those options uh, you can also let me know if you have any questions otherwise until next time we'll talk to you later